have a lot of things on my mind that I kind of feel like just sharing with you guys because, I don't know, there's something kind of therapeutic about sharing your thoughts with a camera. Though some people may not think that because then I'm sharing this to the internet. But, you know, what do you do? Good morning, internet friends. Or rather, good afternoon, internet friends. How are we doing today? How are we, guys? Say so we're doing lazy and sleepy. It's like 1.30, almost 1.40, actually. And, of course, MRL's doing his wonderful napping pose. So, again, been another lazy morning. Has been sleeping. And then I'm getting the vlog uploaded and it's almost completely done processing so yay um I haven't really done much else and then Tyler and I decided for lunch we'd like to go to Taco Bell so he and I are getting ready to go um and yeah that's how the morning is happy May 1st everybody it is now Lyme Disease Awareness Month, Cystic Fibrosis Awareness Month, and Mental Health Awareness Month so yay happy awareness month guys so, now I'm going to finish getting the vlog all ready for you guys, and then Tyler and I are going to go get some food, and I will check back in with you later. Sassy. Hi, baby girl. Have you been doing much of anything today? Yeah? Here, guys, if you need something to smile about, you can smile about Sassy wagging her tail. I know that's something that makes me smile. He's a bit sassy. Such a good girl. So, I have a lot of things on my mind that I kind of feel like just sharing with you guys because, I don't know, there's something kind of therapeutic about sharing your thoughts with a camera, though some people may not think that because then I'm sharing this to the internet, but you know, what do you do? So, anxiety is going all up. And it's over a few things. First, of course, you saw the clip where I'm trying to tra heal train MRL. The training did not go as well as I wanted it to. I went later and I got his halty. And then we ended up just taking a walk together. I tried to put as little pressure on it. 
just like let him walk around, get used to it, whatever. But I felt like such a failure. I felt like I, I don't know, like I couldn't do it. We, cause we've been working on heel in the house and he's great at heel and he can do off leash heel in the house. So I was like, okay, we'll take it outside. No, it didn't go well at all. Of course, everything's a distraction outside. So, and I know I need to be more patient. So when I noticed myself getting frustrated, I was like, no, we're stopping this now. I'm going to just take my dog on a walk. And that was an exciting adventure. But in the back of my mind, I'm still thinking you failed because you didn't get the point across of the training session that you had. Even though we still got something done. He at least is getting used to his halty. He still hates it a lot. I would love to eventually make it to where he can focus on a flat collar. And I've actually found a couple of... I actually found a video on YouTube of a guy, well, of a trainer that... I actually like his method, so I may see if his method works. I don't know. Um, the second thing is, as I've been telling you guys, of course, I am looking for a job. I'm unemployed. Um, I don't remember if I told you guys this yesterday, but I did get an email from the lady who's over birthday parties at the zoo. And she still wants to hire me on. She's going to see if I'm still on payroll, and then we try shadowing this week. Which is great. And then today I actually just got a call from Blue Buffalo. Their hours are basically at the same time as the birthday party hours. So I'm going to see what my hours will be and see what I can do. Here, I'm going to kind of move over here because my arm is hurting. So you're going to see a bunch of shiny sunlight against my face. Note to self, Raven, camera is like a mirror. <laughs> um, but I've been getting extremely anxious. Even at the word job, it has been just, I immediately am like, do not talk to me, please. <laughs> because it has been stressing me out about trying to get a job. I mean, I've applied to just about anywhere you can imagine. And I know that one of the places I applied to denied me because I have a bachelor's degree. Which is annoying because, you know, everyone says, oh, you know, having a bachelor's degree will get you a job. And then you're out in the work field and they're like, <laughs> we don't want to pay you because you have a bachelor's degree. That's dumb. So it's like, what was the point? Um, train of thought. And then, of course, I'm getting a lot of pressure, mainly from my parents to be like, you need to get higher here. Why don't you try applying here, 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 here? And it's like they know that I've applied everywhere I can. And it's not like I haven't been trying to for like the past four or five months. But the pressure is just, it's causing me a lot more anxiety. But I feel like I can't explain that to them because they still think that anxiety is taking over my life. Which it feels like it the more I'm not employed. So... There's that. And then I just feel brokenhearted. I have a lot of friends who are going through really tough times right now. And my heart breaks for all of them. And I'm like, I want, I wish I could help you. I really, really wish I could. I wish I could physically go over to you, hug you, and like be able to help you make things better. That is the huge people pleaser in me. I am the big helper in me. I love helping people. I love making people feel better. Oh, and let me just point out that Sassy just kind of rolled her head on over here so that she could be pet. You feel better, pupper. Sassy's making me feel better. Thank you, baby. Um, Excuse you, just whack the camera out of my hand, why don't you? So rude. Sorry, my arm is getting super tired. You know what? I'm going to lay you guys down on the love seat here. You can hang out with me and Sassy. But it's like, I'm a huge people pleaser. And I'm also huge on helping other people. So when I feel like I can't help somebody that I know is going through a tough time, it bothers me a lot. And I'm not trying to make it sound like, oh, this is all about me. No. It's I really want to help my friends feel better. So that they can feel better. But it's like, you can't do anything, so... 
the best thing you could do is just be like, you know, I'm here for you. Which, of course, is a lot, but sometimes to me, it doesn't feel like I'm doing enough, but that's me. That's just me and my thoughts. Um, and now, just hanging out with Sassy. Okay. My Sassy girl. You're such a good girl, Sassy. I'm considering doing some things today, like... I almost want to watch 13 Reasons Why. I read the book. I did like the book. But now there's so much controversy over the series. I'm not sure if I want to watch it. And then I've heard it's pretty triggering. So I'm like, uh, I don't know. Because I've just recently gotten triggered by something. And I'm like, uh... There's that thin veil of, will I break down? Great. So... I don't know. Or there could be fan fictions I could work on. I'm not sure. Or I could rewatch the same video of some of my favorite YouTube gamers playing golf. Always a fun time. So, just wanted to share my thoughts with you guys, even though now I sound extremely selfish for that last part, and I'm sorry. Hey guys! There's Sassy. <gasps> there's a Riddler! And there's an Emerald. All sniffy doodle. So, just got a shower. And just finished day two of the 30 day yoga challenge with Adrian. This one was a little bit more difficult just because my thighs were hurting. And then of course, when dogs decide to harass you. Though it's kind of fun to be in downward facing dog and seeing this one's cute little face. So, can't really blame him. But the yoga actually feels really nice. Like, I know a lot of people think that yoga is the cure to mental illness. It's not. Duh. But I like to use it more for body stretching. Because especially those of us with anxiety, our muscles get really tense all the time. Um, so, I do actually have a couple of videos in a playlist called Yoga. It is Sarah Beth Yoga. She's one of my favorites. And she has... Yoga routine specifically to help relieve stress and anxiety. She has some for upper back and shoulders, which feels fantastic. There's a bedtime routine that's just for your lower back and hips that also feels fantastic. And then if you want to do a yoga challenge, you can always do the 30-day challenge with Adrian. Because that one's pretty good. Hi, Riddler. Hi. Am I vlogging? Are you need to go out? Well, just a second, okay? So now I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day is, what is your favorite physical activity to do? I mean, it obviously doesn't have to be like rock climbing or something. If your physical activity is getting out of bed, then that's good. I think my favorite physical activity would either be belly dancing or yoga. I do like both. Put your answers down below, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, sassy girl. Good night, Riddler. Good night, Emeril. Good night, Raven's Toes. And good night, Internet friends.